Have you ever stopped to wonder how we got from grunting and pointing to sending emojis and memes in the blink of an eye? It's a journey that spans thousands of years and it's as fascinating as it is complex. Our earliest ancestors didn't have the luxury of WhatsApp or email, they used what they had, the world, around them. Picture this, you're a caveman, you've just discovered fire and you need to share this hot gossip with the tribe across the river. What do you do? You draw a picture on a cave wall, of course. Cave paintings were the Instagram of the Stone Age, where ancient people could share their stories with the world. But what if you needed to send a message quickly? Enter smoke signals. These were the original instant messages, used by Native American tribes to convey simple messages over long distances. But let's be honest, sending a smoke signal is a bit more complicated than firing off a quick text. You can't exactly say running late, caught in traffic, will be there ASAP. More like, big smoke, me here, you there. And who could forget the humble carrier pigeon? These feathered messengers were the unsung heroes of communication history. Back in the day, if you wanted to send a message to your friend in another city, you'd tie a note to a pigeon's leg and hope for the best. Not exactly the most reliable method, especially if your pigeon decided to take a detour for a snack or got distracted by a particularly attractive pigeon on the way. So, next time you're frustrated with your Wi-Fi signal or your phone battery dying, spare a thought for our ancestors. They had to deal with cave walls, smoke signals, and unreliable pigeons. And just for a moment, think about how different our world would be if we still relied on these primitive methods today. Imagine trying to send a LOL via carrier pigeon. So, how did we move from carrier pigeons to slide into your DMs? Well, let me tell you, it's been quite a journey. Imagine, if you will, a world before the written word. Communication was all about cave paintings, smoke signals, and yes, those reliable carrier pigeons. But then, humans decided to level up. They created written languages. Suddenly, they could record their thoughts, pass down their stories, and, most importantly, leave passive-aggressive notes for their cave mates about who left the mammoth meat out to spoil. Fast forward a few millennia, and we get to a point where writing things down was all the rage. But there was a problem. It took forever to manually copy texts. And if you've ever played the game, Telephone, you know how messages can get twisted with each iteration. Enter Johannes Gutenberg, a man with a mission. He was like, Enough of this slow-motion communication, let's speed things up. So, in the mid-15th century, he invented the printing press. This was a game-changer. Information could be mass-produced and disseminated quickly. Think of it as the medieval version of going viral. But let's not forget the unintended consequences of Gutenberg's invention. Imagine the first spam mail, probably a flyer from the local blacksmith shop, mass-produced and shoved under everyone's door. Get your horseshoes here! Best in town, two for the price of one. Oh yes, the printing press not only revolutionized communication, but also gave birth to the age-old tradition of junk mail. So, while we might grumble about the endless stream of promotional emails in our inbox today, remember it all started with Gutenberg's groundbreaking invention. And that, dear listeners, is how we moved from etching symbols on stone to mass-producing written words. It was a giant leap in the evolution of communication, paving the way for future advancements and, of course, the delightful world of spam. So, the next time you get junk mail, thank Johannes Gutenberg. But when did communication start moving at the speed of, well, sound? Enter the telegraph, the brainchild of Samuel Morse, who in the mid-19th century figured out how to send coded messages through wires. It was a game changer. Suddenly, you could send a message from New York to California in minutes instead of weeks. But let's not forget, these were the days when LOL would have just caused confusion. Imagine trying to explain that one to your great-great-grandpa. Now, as revolutionary as the telegraph was, it still had its limitations. You couldn't exactly have a casual chat with it. That's where the telephone comes in. Alexander Graham Bell, a man of many talents, brought us this marvel in the late 19th century. And oh boy, did it catch on fast. Suddenly you could hear the voice of someone miles away, as if they were just next door. It was like magic, but without the rabbits and top hats. It's amusing to think of the early telephone users. They couldn't use their device to avoid awkward social situations by pretending to text. Can you imagine? You're at a party, and you can't even pretend to be engrossed in a very important phone call to avoid talking to that overly enthusiastic cousin. The horror. And let's not forget there were no emojis. You couldn't send a smiley face to show you were joking or a frowny face to show you were upset. You had to actually use words to express your feelings. How quaint. But perhaps the most shocking thing about these early communication devices was the lack of autocorrect. 
There was no software to change your ducking to docking or your mood to moon. Every word had to be perfect. Every message had to be clear. It was a time of great responsibility. At least they didn't have to worry about autocorrect messing up their telegrams. So, we've got written and spoken communication down, but what about sending cat videos to friends on the other side of the world? Let's rewind to the 20th century, a time when the most advanced piece of technology was probably your grandpa's pocket watch. It was in this era that the internet, the invisible web that links us all today, was born. The internet started as a military experiment in the United States, under the code name ARPANET. Imagine that, a tool created to protect us in times of war is now used to share videos of dancing dogs and epic fail compilations. Now fast forward a bit to the 90s, a time of boy bands and questionable fashion choices. The World Wide Web was introduced, transforming the internet from a complex system used mainly by scientists and academics, into a user-friendly platform that even our technologically challenged Aunt Susan could navigate. But what good is the internet if we can't access it while on the move? Enter the mobile phone. The first mobile phone was a brick-sized contraption that cost an arm and a leg, and had a battery life shorter than a goldfish's memory span. It was far from the sleek, multifunctional devices we carry around today. The first text message was sent in 1992, and contrary to popular belief, it was not, OMG, I can't even. It was actually Merry Christmas. But it didn't take long for the language of texting to evolve into the shorthand, emoji-filled jargon we know and love today. Now, we can share thoughts, ideas, and yes, cat videos with just a few taps on a screen. We've come a long way from smoke signals and carrier pigeons, haven't we? And that, folks, is how we went from cave paintings to cat memes. So, what's next? Telepathy? Holograms? Emoji-only conversations? As we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, we can't help but wonder what lies ahead in the realm of communication. Let's start with the possibility of telepathy. Imagine a day where we can communicate thoughts directly, bypassing the need for words or emojis entirely. No more autocorrect messing up your texts or voice recognition software mishearing your commands. But then again, we'd also lose the joy of blaming autocorrect for our embarrassing text mishaps. So perhaps the jury's still out on this one. Then there's holograms. Picture this, you're sitting at home when suddenly, a three-dimensional image of your friend appears in your living room, ready to chat. It's like they're right there with you, minus the need for snacks or cleaning up after. Now that's a future we can get behind. But let's not forget about emoji-only conversations. In a world dominated by memes and emojis, we might see the Oxford English Dictionary replaced by the Urban Dictionary. Our language could become a blend of smiley faces, thumbs up, and the occasional taco emoji. And who knows, maybe the ability to perfectly use the facepalm emoji will become the ultimate sign of literacy. All jesting aside, these speculations may not be as far-fetched as they seem. With the speed at which technology is advancing, we might just find ourselves living in this brave new world sooner than we think. But remember, no matter how sophisticated our gadgets become, the essence of communication will always remain the same. It's about connection, understanding and expression. It's about sharing our thoughts, our feelings, and our experiences with others. So, while we may not know exactly what the future holds for communication, we can be certain of one thing. It will continue to evolve, becoming ever more efficient, engaging, and exciting. No matter what the future holds, one thing's for sure. Communication will continue to evolve, and we'll be here to LOL, SMH, and ROFL along with it.